Welcome Galactic Family. My financial and loving life does not go well. Question Good morning, dear masters. Gratitude for being able to participate. My professional life to this day is not defined, and I worry about it, because I am not financially independent. It distresses me, and I feel sad. My love life has been stagnating for quite some time. Am I conducting my life in the wrong way? Answer. Daughter. Change begins with self-love, and cultivation of mastery. He looks to the side and sees people who have followed his path and have not felt sorry for themselves. You can do it the same way. Follow in humility, but with willpower, your way. Do not let yourself be overthrown by difficulties, learn to face your fears, without pain of yourself. Look at them head on, without fear, but with resignation and acceptance, and go forward. If you want to progress, learn the value of getting your own achievements, that the world will open up to you without even realizing it. Anchor that willpower and move on. I am Ventania. Why cannot I sleep right? Question. I am immensely grateful for the opportunity. I wonder why I cannot sleep well, I have many dreams, I feel a mixture of doubts and certainties difficult to explain in words. I feel as if what I do is never enough. Gratitude. Answer. What you feel is daughter anxiety. You project your mind into the future, or into the past, and forget to stay in the present. Learn the power of now. Learn that there is only the here and now. And think of all the fears you have ever failed, have any of them materialized? You are living and all is well. And if I could say something to you from the past, I would say everything went well, and everything is fine. And if I could say something to you from the future, I would say everything went well, and everything is fine. So learn this piece of the present, and be well in your own company. I am Jesus. Some suggestion for the exercise of charity? Question. Thanks to everyone involved in the answers. Sarah Pispe said that I need to exercise charity, inner observation and gratitude. Although I made myself available for the first one, it still has not happened to the synchrony necessary to make it happen. As for gratitude, I feel I am not an ungrateful person, though I am not an ungrateful person all the time. The inner observation is the most challenging, because not everything I observe, I like. I wonder if the sum of my superior characteristics supplants the sum of the negative characteristics. Sometimes I do not think so, because it is very difficult to build from a higher state of mind. It takes a lot and slash or it does not happen. The negative, it's quick. What I think is happening is that I must have had the privilege of being attacked by the darkness. In this condition, I become depressed and as such, totally disconnected from everything and everyone, and worse from myself. This was insight of the week, from a negative situation that happened to me. How difficult it is to perceive reality when you are inside it. There seems to be a war between 3D and 5D. The things we know and that worked in 3D are not working, just like the things that work in 5D we do not know how to implement. Maybe that explains why things are not working, at least the way you thought it worked. I also believe living in a very negative region which also hampers positive interactions. Do these observations come? Do they explain why it takes so long for me to get out of situations that displease me or have something more hidden and I do not see? Any suggestions on the exercise of charity? I understand that not all people in positive situations are part of the region that I live in, as well as the planetary moment that we live in. Unfortunately this is not enough for me. 
How Ponopono has been helping. Thank you all. Answer. Son, the cosmos and life does not try to position itself between 3D or 5D. 5D does not look for space to be implemented within 3D. These are just your own inner fights. The external environment that lives is the one with which it is vibrating, and the exercise of charity is at the moment its practice of Haoponopono, which works the healing and the acceptance in itself of its imperfections, with the decrees of forgiveness. These decrees of forgiveness heal and illuminate the energetic threads that bind him to the level of Akashic, to the environment in which he lives and to some experiences that present themselves to him, and that awaken his lower vibrations, and that work to accept and forgive in himself. Haoponopono is the form of charity practice where it illuminates these bonds, and so it works on your healing and on all those who are connected with your experience, releasing them. That's your intuition saying, son, trust me. We know that in this experience he will often be placed before the aspects he abhors in himself. So value the moments of intuition, write them down and practice them. Over time you will realize how they will become more perennial. The gratitude you must work on is for your own experiences and for being what you are, gratitude for yourself, without judgment and without guilt, do you understand? Son, this gratitude worked within itself reverberates to the external and transforms your life, bringing new experiences purer and sweeter, and gradually your life is transformed into something where you will see the most frequent light, because you will sustain that light. How Ponopono also works this aspect gratitude. Being thus son, follow with your intuition, working to thrive on the walk through the glimpses of path light. This is the way of all, towards ascension. I am Elohim purity. I am confused as the direction of my life. Question. I feel very confused about the direction of my life. For the past seven years, I have struggled hard to achieve the career of my dreams airline pilot a dream for which I worked and invested most of my money and energy, even though I was too sick to realize it, but always something emerged and prevented the realization of this dream. Also, since I was able to stay without aviation, I was putting all my efforts into my dream, and I did not want to redirect my profession. Meanwhile, after my mother's horrible death, something happened to me. At first the depression of my mother's death caused me to create an even greater space between me and my dream. Suddenly, I woke up and became interested in spirituality, and became more aware of my energy. But now all around me are tears. In addition, I lost many of my friends, my finances, my interest in anything but aviation. I would like to recover and continue to work more energy on myself, to be closer to my potential and, if I may, I would like to help others grow, all this while continuing my dream of aviation. Do you think I still have a chance with this or should I forget and redirect all my energy in a different direction? Answer. Beloved daughter. You do not need to direct your energies towards something. When you direct them you lose them. What it needs is to learn to connect with the source of energy, so that it can become a transmitter channel of infinite energy that is available to all through source. What has made you take your life with disgust and discouragement is the fact that you do not connect with the source of energy. This is your learning. Become a plumber of energy and with it transform your life and that of those who need it. The dream of aviation is the fuel that moves you toward this quest for fulfillment, and it would be your apex of reach, your object of inspiration, and keep you on the straight quest to figure out how to realize a dream. How to use your energy to actually transform your life. Your true pursuit and purpose is not in aviation, but rather it is the school that makes you learn this beautiful lesson.
You will reach the goal when you learn to channel the source energy into your dreams, not just wear yourself away by giving away your restricted energy from matter. Realize daughter, that the energy of a small piece of creation is scarce, but that by being an arm of something much larger, it can become a channel of energy transfer and transformation. You are a transformer, and someone who, driven by the pursuit of your dream, will learn to realize dreams by directing divine energy to what you desire. For this, beloved daughter, just live life as it presents itself, sustain gratitude in your day, and go first to work the emptying of the mind, the cleansing of beliefs, suffering, expectations. They prevent you from opening yourself to the source connection. Work the emptying of oneself by becoming nothingness, becoming one, emptiness. To be filled with light, and then yes, charged with divine energy, direct it to your dream. But for this it needs to pass through the first phase, that of emptying, because as we know the cup is full. Therefore, beloved daughter, Remain in the joy of the present moment, trusting that the best will be given. No expectation as to the future, but only knowing that the best will happen. In this way trust and anchoring work in the present moment. That will make the gradual emptying of the expectations created and then open to the new. And so it is. Masters PTF